In the world of Jewish dailies, if you look at Katz's in New York City, he's 120 years old, or Cantor's 70, 80 years old, Langer's 67 years old in LA. And what it's taken is a few generations, uh, both of hard work and foresight and vision, to say this can be here for the next generation. It's a family place. There are often people with children in here, and I enjoy that. Um, uh, and the service is also excellent. I like everyone who works here pretty much and they all know my name and they all know exactly what I want to eat and it's really awesome. You know I didn't eat out much when I was young. I grew up during the depression and you didn't eat out at that time and no I probably have eaten out here more than any place else. It's important to understand that in New York you have three or four million Jewish population. In LA you have I think it's two, two or three million Jewish population. The Greater Bay Area has 250,000 uh, uh, people who call themselves Jews, um, and then within that small community, it's fractured. There's a kosher community, people who who who, are, who, who uh, practice the religion and, and keep the Sabbath, and therefore can mix milk and meat. And then the, and then so and then of, of what's left uh, is barely enough to sustain a, a Jewish delicatessen. Um, and hence, there, aren't, there have not been a lot of Jewish delicatesses in the Bay Area. There's been about one in, the, one in San Francisco and one in the East Bay for 15, 20 years. A few have tried and never succeeded.